This is the Pinklish, and it has been nagging in the Hive community for over a year now. And nobody, not even Minecraft, has done anything to fix it. So today, we're going to take it into our own hands. That's right, today, we are going to be solving one of Minecraft's biggest problems, the pink glitch. So strap in, this is going to be a fun one. Okay, so to be able to fix a problem, we have to find out what actually causes it. So what is the cause of the pink glitch? Well, we know that if you play the Hive for a while, then you are going to get the pink glitch. It is going to happen to you, unless if you are on a mobile device. But in fact, Minecraft is making an update that is going to make it so pink glitch also happens on mobile devices. So yeah. Yes, this is going to be a bit of a problem for everybody here. So what causes the pink glitch is actually a Minecraft problem. It is not the Hive's fault, so don't go blaming the Hive for this. I'm going to explain why that is. So let's take a look at how Minecraft actually renders player skins and blocks. So before you even load into the server, Minecraft is going to download the skins of all the players on the server. This is going to be stored in something called your memory or your RAM if you're a gamer. But what Minecraft doesn't do is it doesn't delete these skins when you don't need them anymore, unless if you just close out the program entirely. So what happens is that if you play Minecraft for two long, then you won't have enough storage to actually download these skins. So instead of downloading the skins, Minecraft just changes all the skins' textures to this texture, which you have probably seen before. We can actually compare these two textures and see that the pink color is actually coming from this missing texture. So how are we just going to stop the pink glitch with a texture pack? Well, that's what this video is about. But before we do start, please make sure to like and subscribe. I want to hit at least 2k by the end of the year. Anyways, enjoy the video. Okay, so we already went over what causes the pink glitch. So now it's just time to fix it. So the first thing I want to do is get rid of this texture because I don't think we need it. And if Minecraft is going to use it for some reason, let's just get rid of it because there's no reason that we actually need this missing texture. Unless if you do want the pink glitch. I have this file right here that's going to tell Minecraft to never use this texture so that it doesn't cause the pink glitch. Now we're going to go change some of the rendering controls so that we can force Minecraft to actually download the skins, overriding the other skins it already has, which is essentially just deleting the old skins because we don't need those. Next, I wanted to tell Minecraft to use the proper skins instead of using the missing texture, which is what these files are for. If you want to take a look at these files, the download is in the description. The next thing I want to do is I want Minecraft to not log all of this crap that we don't need in our memory. That way we can go longer without the pink glitch occurring or maybe even have it not occur at all. Now I'm going to change a bit more code here that is going to not download as much stuff into the memory so that our player skins can load and we don't get the pink glitch anymore. Now the final thing to do was to make the pack icon and this is where my artistic skills peaked. Now it's time to test it out. Since I don't want to play the high for several hours waiting for the pink glitch to occur, I'm just going to make sure that this works because I do know that this code works because I've tested it in other areas before. And yep, so far so good. So anyways, that is how I fixed the pink glitch on Minecraft. If you want to download the texture pack, it is a free download link in the description. Go ahead and get it right now. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.